Come on back. Get in and go to the shop. Alright, pull it around to service. It's my time. It's your time. It's your time. It's my time. Say hi to everybody at home. Tell them what you just did. Uh, I bought a, or no, I didn't buy. You didn't well, buy anything I did buy. yet. I uh, okay. traded this man right here. Okay, you got off a trailer? He was stupid enough to trust a guy on the internet. Okay, so uh, introduce that, us uh, to your friend. This is Rob. Rob, this is the Midlife Crisis family. Oh, family. Thank you for trusting me to do this. We drove up to Dallas. He drove down from Wichita, Kansas. And uh, we're about to trade his Porsche GT4 2016 981 Porsche for my 2016 AMG GTS. So let's go check out his Porsche. I'm sure it's everything that he said it was. We are at the cleanest shop in all of South Texas. And uh, here it is, everybody. A 2016 Porsche GT4 981. I was thinking about getting a personalized plate that said Dorothy. Sent this from Kansas. There you go. But uh, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Time to build this into a track monster. Two years. Two years. We've had about the same amount of time, both cars. And I don't have a car ninja, I have a car doctor. Yes. 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 We're going to have to make this rear end better. We're, we're not wide bodying it. He wants to wide body everything. You like it or not. He literally wants to wide body everything. Just because you have a wide body doesn't mean the cars have to have all wide bodies. How do you know this? Uh, I, I spend so much time with you. Yeah. Yeah. Has it, has it caused any problems? No. Uh, we've been friends. Not yet. Yeah, we've been friends a long, long time. <laughs> if my cardiologist calls you, then we'll talk about that. But any drippage? Everything gets wide body. Everything. You don't see no signs wide of body, drippage or nothing like no, that? No, actually, we look really good under here. Like that, so on, all in all, I mean, underside of it gets a gets a big green check mark all right you want to you want to go check the interior let's check it out all right let's take her down guys all right let's check this out guys oh yeah that's oh, yeah, that's clean got the fire extinguisher so this is the super cup holder you were talking about? The ultimate cup holder? What, yeah, so... It's like 30 bucks. 30 bucks for a cup holder. Worth it, totally worth it. Nice. Oh, because... Because those are garbage. Oh. I haven't had one of... Oh, what is that, like a Mexican Coke or something? No, is that the only thing that'll fit in German there? German Coke. Dude. Oh, okay, I was like... See, that's the, that's the stuff you just don't know. You don't find that out until after you buy it. Yeah, you don't do that. But... I love, what is the insert called? Papita. Papita. And the fact that you, that Rick did the carbon Sparco buckets. So, oh, what do you think, Edward? Looking good? Well, I like the material. Yeah, I know, I do too. So what color would you guys paint this? Or would you leave it white? White. Yellow's the only color to be. Racing yellow? I'm gonna have to get used to the key on the left side. So, R Rob, tell me about the harnesses here. So you got Buckets. Okay. This little guy, you got yep. an adjuster right here. All right. Um, bring those in. Bring those out. Okay. Then you got under here. Okay. You got a sub mount. Oh. For the bottom. Shove that guy up. Oh, right through the. Okay. And then this is your center. Yep. I won't do the other side. Yeah, no, I got, I got the idea. So, so these guys, okay, roll, but then, boom. Okay. You lock and load. You grab the other side from yep. here, and then to get out, you just twist. Okay, cool. That seems easy enough. Yeah, and then you see on the other side, I've got to wrap these socks so they don't rattle. Ah, gotcha. One of the reasons I was really interested in this car is this is a built Rick Demand half cage. Is he the man? He's, in it, he's in demand. He's in demand. But it is the like dumb man. To get actually to work on your car. Oh, that's cool. So okay. The, so along with the GT4, we've got uh, Rick Demand built custom headers. Okay, with with built-in sport cats. We're talking uh, 
4.5 demand? Yeah, this is half of the 4.5. Ah, now That's I know demand. Be, right? I know so demand so now. Okay. okay, yes. We've got some other little bits. Uh, we got some decals. We've got decals. Uh, some, some clear part. side markers, which every Porsche owner has to do. And then since uh, the car ninja is his personal mechanic, he was able to get me a German Auto Works, Wichita, Kansas. Beautiful. Uh, hoodie and so thank you very much man this is awesome i'm gonna button this back up okay brother. sounds good all right i think that's good i think you're good you're about even the door's higher again so gotta love it door it's easier going up than going down really good luck with doors right now yeah right exactly why is it easier going up than down than for you huh oh because i don't stop a million times like you did i'm just afraid i'm gonna drop something don't be afraid you're leaving it in first or leaving it in neutral first I got the parking brake on. What do you think? Good trade? I like it. Dude. You like it? I really do. I, I Happy really birthday! Do. It's yours! <laughs> not, not quite. Oh, okay. And we're gonna get this thing loaded up and say goodbye to Rob. Thanks to the Honda Weatherford team. Yes. They're thank awesome. You, Rob, thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you, sir. it. I hope you enjoy the GMG TS. I will give you uh, some reports on that. Looking forward to And it. until the next trade. All right. All right. See if you guys got time. anything else in Wichita, let me know. We'll do it. All right, man. Have a good one. Safe trip. Are you done yet? God, you're always rushing me. I want to. I want to let you know something. Tell me. These are genuine Kansas, Oklahoma uh, mosquitoes Ooh, and gnats right. and bugs and. I thought they tasted different. So, what do you guys think? All right. When we get home, Edward's gonna give this a full inspection. We did a pretty good inspection. Edward, do you think we did a pretty good inspection? Yeah, I think so. So you don't feel bad about this. Yeah, I don't feel bad about it. The, the hot spots I was worried about were completely unscathed and untouched. I think that it's. A, I'm chasing you. Definitely a, a good, a good buy. I mean, you got you got the lower uh, maintenance. Crazy costs aren't really wrapped up in this, but no. you, you get the best of all the worlds. You know? Yeah, track performance. Yeah, and then you don't have to worry about carbon ceramics, center lock bolts. Yeah. The, you just there's so much that's like it's actually built around somebody that would really want to be so and this is the base guys for our new track build it's gonna be gonna be pretty badass I, i'm i can tell you how excited i am so can't wait to get it home and uh give you guys a first drive video yeah um it needs more power i'm not gonna lie to you uh we're definitely gonna fix the power problem, right? That is so beautiful. Super blessed. And now, on to the Porsche GT4 adventure. Wish us luck. Edward is working out, putting everything in the trailer. We're gonna get on the road, get some grub, head back to San Antonio. Very hungry. Very hungry man, caveman. Let me know down in the comments. Should we paint it? Should we keep it white? I'm on the fence. Edward, what do you think? You should ask them that after you upload the other uh, the GT2 RS clone that I made. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then you can ask them. Then I can ask them how badass it was. Then you can ask them, should we paint it or not? So Edward has a little bit of Porsche uh, history. Extreme home makeover is the best way I can describe it, and uh, he has a way of dressing up the Porsches to make them look pretty, pretty sick. So. Can't get away from Porsche. I'm gonna I'm gonna insert right here a picture of Edwards GT2 RS build that he did for a friend of ours in San Antonio. Tell me, do you think we should make over the GT4 and to the GT4 crazy? I, I would you know me, I always wanna go crazy. You know me. Yeah. Come on. Alright, we're gonna get on the road, get something to eat, and get home so we can take this thing for a first drive. Six hours later. Well, we made it back from Dallas. It was a long journey. This man was very, very helpful and getting the new midlife crisis vehicle super excited we are going to get this thing uh is it it's going to be a, a streetable track build is what i would say but yeah it's definitely going to have some sauce to it we are going to add a little bit of sauce to it we're going to add some aggression we're going to add some body i think this is going to be one that uh everybody out there will really enjoy thanks everybody for joining us on the long the ride on the way up to dallas to say goodbye to the amg gts but say hello to the new 981 gt4 uh super excited i want to thank everybody at Honda of Weatherford for letting us go up there and do the swap for the AMG GTS for the Porsche GT4. Special thanks to Rob up in Wichita, Kansas and the whole entire YouTube Wichita, Kansas crew. Uh, we're super excited about uh, making this GT4 a little bit more midlife crisis. Yes, and we'll uh, take care of it for you.
for you, Rob. We got some engines, mods, a little bit of body work, maybe a little bit of color and flair. Edward's got a whole bunch of ideas. He's, uh, he's, yeah, it's going to be an epic build, guys. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still.